in a lot of different places, from concert halls to Hollywood stages to exotic locales like Australia or aboard Captain Jacques Cousteau's good ship Calypso. And that was fun, but when it comes to Christmas, I want to be home in the West and outdoors, close to nature. Tonight, Clint Black, Patty Loveless, and Kathy Matea have traveled with me to the windswept valleys of the Great Plains in Fort Belknap, Montana. Fort Belknap is a 600,000 acre reservation, 35 miles south of Canada and just north of the Missouri Breaks. Why Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid used to travel through this territory back when the West was young. We're here as guests of the Gravant and Assiniboine Indian Nations, the 4,000 Native Americans who call this big sky country home. And you know, being outdoors like this and surrounded by this beautiful country Reminds me of a movie I made a few years ago with George Burns. It was called, Oh God. And in that movie, God was complaining about the way we were taking care of the beautiful world that he'd given us. And I told God that we needed help. And he said, that's why I gave you each other. Hold it, cowboy. I don't believe it. You're talking too much. I want to see the show, especially the part about the Indians. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll get right on with it. And cowboy, one more thing. Take good care of my horse. Right. Is that you, George? Montana Christmas Skies. Starring John Denver. with Clint Black, Patty Loveless, Kathy Matea, We've brought a much-loved holiday tradition of mine to Montana. Friends and neighbors gather in a barn, decorate a tree, and celebrate right there with the animals. It sort of reminds me of the very first Christmas, and for one special night, it brings all of us together under one big roof. I'll take the blanket, I'll take the reins. It's Christmas for cowboys, wide open plains. Cowboys, wide open plains. Tall in the saddle, we spend 
Christmas day Driving the cattle over snow-covered plains All of the good gifts given today Ours is the sky and the wide open plains It's Christmas for cowboys, wide open plains May the God who gave us Christmas when his only son was born. Bless you, your friends and family, on this holy Christmas morn. So very nice. Yeah. And Jesse's awake now. Merry Christmas, Jesse. How are you? They say the cowboy's disappearing. You believe it? They're still out there working. Still There's no working. way to really uh, mechanize the herding of cows, is there? I mean, there's, well, you really there, can't do it any other way. There are those way. trying to do it by uh, motorcycle nowadays oh. and helicopter. <laughs> and it's just not the same. Yeah, that cow. A lot of the cowboys, uh, a lot of what they are is just a, in a, st a state of mind. There's nothing like the history of the West. Cowboys. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be Roy Rogers. I wanted to be Dale Evans. <laughs> Dale Evans, see? Yeah. The better half. Oh, man. <laughs> Actually, I, I wanted to be uh, the Cisco Kid. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm too blonde, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, one. Now I'm only five years old. I've got to do just what I'm told. Santa Claus is going to be dropping in on me. Something I might have missed. I had quite a few things on my list. I hope he can fit it all under that Christmas tree. I know what he likes for a late night snack. For years now, it's been bringing him back milk and cookies. cookies. He'll come and go without a sound again. But how in the world does he get in? He got a chimney. Close my eyes and concentrate. What am I going to do without my horse? Yeah. <laughs> How do you play that game? Rock on, Patty. Look, Ma, no. Jingle bell. Jingle bell rock. There's a young man that I know. His age is 21. Comes from down in southern Colorado And just out of the service And looking for some fun Someday soon Going with them someday soon My parents cannot stand him Cause he rides the rodeo My father says Cause he was just 
just as wild in his younger days. So blow you, oh blue northern, blow my love to me. He's riding in the night from California. He loves his damned old rodeo as much as he loves me. Someday You know, we don't get to do this often enough. I know, it, you know, the, the irony is that you, uh, you work at your music all your life and you sit around and do this in and, and, and hopes that you can do it for thousands of people around the world and you get successful and you go and do it for thousands of people around the world and you can't do it like this anymore. That's right. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's great. What a pleasure to fun. sing with you guys. Yeah, I've never enjoyed anything things. more than just this. Simple, nice things. Natural thing. This is an old, a real old Scottish uh, song. And it's a lullaby of Mary singing to her newborn baby. And, uh, and we have Jesse here, and I thought I might be able to do this if she'll let me.
that she did. Like Little it? sweetheart. Put her to sleep. I know what you're out. looking for. Hey? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> He was born in the Bitterroot Valley in the early morning rain. Wild geese of the water heading north and home again. Bringing the warm wind from the south, bringing the first taste of spring. His mother took him to a breast, softly she did sing. Oh, Montana, give this child a home. Give him the love of a good family and a woman of his own. Give him the fire in his heart, give him the light in his eyes. Give him the wild wind for summer he never learned to cry he never knew his father and he never did ask why and he never knew the answers it would make an easy way but he learned in all the wilderness to be a man that way his mother's brother took him into his family and his home gave him a hand that he could lean on Stand. Oh, 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 Montana, give this child a home. Give him the love of a good family and a woman of his own. Give him the fire in his heart. Give him the light in his eyes. Give him the wild wind for a brother and the wild Montana skies. Well, I'm glad I'm here with you guys this year because I've had a bad Christmas the last time. All my clothes are laundry. All my socks are full of holes. I've got TP in my hat band, cardboard in my soles. See, my first wife took my saddle. The second skinned my hide. And the third one got my deer head, and the last one took my pride. So all I want for Christmas is whatever you can leave. But I'd settle for a new wife <laughs> who would stay through New Year's Eve. <laughs> sing up here in Montana. Sharing Christmas with the Assiniboine and Grovant people put all of us back in touch with the beauty and spirit of the wilderness. As a special gift, I was given an Indian name, Seize the Eagle, something I'll always treasure. So this is a new song that, uh, that I have out. I actually heard this song on the radio. I can't tell you how excited I got to. You have any idea how long it's been since I've heard a new song of mine on the radio? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I'll tell you, the first, time, <laughs> the first time I ever heard one of my songs on the radio, I was in Phoenix, Arizona. I was driving down the road, and on the radio came Peter, Paul, and Mary singing, Leaving on a Jet Plane. I had to pull over the side and stop. Started crying. <laughs> Went to the first phone booth I could find, called the radio station, asked them to play it again. So I have heard this on the radio. It's another song uh, about and for the children, I guess. It talks about what it is we want to teach our children, what kind of values, what do we want to leave them with. This is called a Potter's Wheel. fast becoming younger the news is all they've ever known they've seen the wars the hurt the hunger how will they choose when they are grown what do you tell forever's children when it's their turn to hurt and Whatever spins a grim tornado can also turn a potter's wheel. Take a little clay, put it on a wheel, get a little hint how God must feel. 
give a little turn, listen to it spin, make it in the shape you want it in. Tell with your life the bloody story, teach to their dreams, not burning steel. It's not in bombs where lies the glory, but in what shattered on the field. The potter's wheel takes love and caring, skill and patience, fast and slow. The works it makes are easily broken once they survive the potter's throw. Take a little clay, put it on a wheel, get a little hint how God must feel. Give a little turn, listen to it spin, make it in the shape you want it in. Someday some children will be digging in some long forgotten ground and they'll find our civilization for what's left of it to be found. They'll find the weapons of destruction that buried deeper in the hole. They'll find a In the sand, the potter's bowl Take a little clay, put it on a wheel Get a little hint how God must feel Give a little turn, listen to it spin Make it in the shape you want it in Take a little clay, put it on a wheel Get a little hint how God must feel Give a little turn, listen to it spin Make it in the shape you want it in Earth and water and wind conspire With human hands and love and fire Take a little clay, put it on a wheel Get a little hint how God must feel Give a little turn, listen to it spin Make it in the shape you want it for the best. Huh? <laughs> when I was a little bitty boy just upon the floor, we used to go out to Grandma's house and look at the soap. Had chicken pie and country ham and homemade butter on the bread. But the first darn thing about Grandma's house was a great big feather bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide, soft as a downy chick. It made from the feathers of four eleven geese Took a whole full of cloth for the tip It all made kids four hound dogs The figure we stole from the shed Didn't get much sleep But we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed After supper we'd sit around the fire The old folks would spit and chew All the talk about the farm and the war And the grand singing ballad or two and I'd sit and listen to watch the fire Till the cobwebs filled my head Next thing I know I'd wake up in the morning In the middle of the old feather bed It was nine feet high and six feet wide Soft as a downy chip the bed. Yeah! Well, I love my pa, I love them all, I love grand and grandpa too. I've been fishing with my uncle, I wrestled my cousin, I even kissed Aunt Lou. Ooh, if I ever had to make a choice, guess it ought to be said. I'd trade them all, plus the gal down the road for grandma's feather bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide, soft as a downy chip. Made from the feathers of four to eleven bees, took a hold of the cloth for the and hold eight kids, four hot dogs, a piggy we stole from the shed. Didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. Didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed.
People ask me if that's a true story. And it is. Aunt Lou in that story is actually uh, my Aunt Cory Swope. God bless her heart and rest in peace. She was, she was a wonderful woman. She was, she was a very large woman. And uh, she did not have any children of her own. What she had was uh, Shetland ponies. She gave them all of her time and attention, all of her good energy. And to tell you the truth, she uh, smelled like them. <laughs> She did, but that wasn't the problem. The, the thing was that if, if any time we had company coming over for dinner, people who were from outside the family, strangers, well then in the evening after she cleaned up, she would douse herself with perfume. And the combination was awesome. And she had this thing about kissing me when I was real little. You know, she would spot me all the way across, oh Johnny, you come here. And she would grab me and clasp me to her ample bosom <laughs> and I couldn't breathe. Did we say this was a Christmas show? You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid, Donner and Blitzen, but do you recall the most famous reindeer of all. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer game. Then one cloudy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, once you guide my sleigh tonight. Then how the reindeer loved him, loved him. and they shouted out with glee, Rudolph, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, reindeer, you'll go down in history. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, reindeer, you'll go down in history. Jesus. 
celebration of Christmas is truly, in a sense, a celebration of the birth of a child. And I believe that no matter what color you are, no matter what language you speak, no matter the form of your politics or the expression of your faith, I believe that the birth cry of every newborn baby everywhere is the same. And it says, I want to live. There were children raised in sorrow On a scorched and barren plain There are children raised beneath the golden sun There were children of the water And children of the sand And they cry out through the universe Their voices raised as one I want to live I want to grow, I want to see, and I want to know, I want to share what I can give, I want to be, I want to live. Have you gazed out on the ocean, seen the breaching of a whale? Have you watched the dolphins frolic in the foam? Have you heard the song the humpback hears 500 miles away Telling tales of ancient history Of passages and home I want to live, I want to grow I want to see and I want to know I want to share what I can give I want to be, I want to live for the worker and the warrior, the lover and the liar, for the native and the wanderer in kind, for the maker and the user, the mother and her son, I am looking for my family and all of you are mine. We are standing all together, face to face, arm in arm. We are standing on the threshold of a dream. No more hunger, no more killing, no more wasting life away. It is simply an idea, and I know it's time has come. I want to grow, I want to see and I want to know I want to share what I can give I want to be, I want to live and I want to grow I want to see and I want to know I want to share what I can give I want to be, I want to live and I want to grow I want to see, I want to know
John Denver's Montana Christmas Skies will continue. Christmas and family. To me, those words have always been synonymous. It seems as we close out this century, America's idea of family is going through a lot of changes. Single parents, sometimes two dads to answer to, sometimes none. It can get kind of confusing, I suppose, but the need for closeness endures. That's good. You want to cut some more tur turkey for some of these folks? I notice it coming around. I'll leave you with something you can't understand. You can't buy or sell it or hold it in your hands. It's greater than this world of ours or the hair. This song when I when I first heard it it just absolutely touched me and brought tears to my eyes actually it's just perfect for Christmas we got a world champion rodeo cowboy here too yeah. Lyle couldn't teach me to rope a calf <laughs> didn't <laughs> work one afternoon but taught you to rope your horse though didn't we you? Just about did. <laughs> they've got they got a bunkhouse for me though I'm gonna come back up here at some time just always wanted to do my that. son Zach wants to ride bulls Lyle I hope you'll talk him out of that <laughs> I have a buddy who paid his way through college riding bulls and he can't sit on a bar stool, which isn't a, such a bad thing. But, uh, he has to lean just Ow. about everywhere he goes everywhere. because of that. <laughs> I don't know. They tried to get me on a bull once. They had a little rodeo down in Aspen. and uh, I'm a singer, not a bull rider. You ride yeah. the wrong bull and you won't be a singer anymore either. It's kind of <laughs> crossed my mind. It's exactly... Yeah, I might have to get in some opera. <laughs> Spreading through the trees, a feeling in my 
bones again just puts me right at ease. It takes me back to all the times I've been here before. The crossroads old familiar signs tell me there's something more. Can't explain there's something strange about the early fall. It's a comfort leaving me without care. I remain everything around me hears the call. Tonight I feel a change in the air. Something strange about the early fall It's a comfort leaving me without care I remain, but everything around me hears a call Tonight I feel a change Yes, I surely feel a change in the air. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's great to be here with y'all. Thank you very much. Well, I would like to, uh, to toast the warmth and hospitality of our hosts for the Assiniboine and Grovant Indian tribes. Uh, this Christmas, I think that we have been given many wonderful, wonderful gifts. Uh, new insights into ourselves and each other. Uh, the beauty of, of your land and a friendship that will remain in our hearts forever. And we thank you very, very much. <laughs> yes. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, okay. Maybe the future is all about new families, new kinds of families, however we shape them. A family like this, cowboys and Indians sitting down together, friends. It doesn't take much. We reach out for a moment at a table, on the street, at the office, unexpectedly perhaps, and discover we're not alone. Not bad, cowboy. Good show. Merry Christmas, kid. Continental, which wishes you and your family the happiest of holidays, is pleased to have provided transportation to Denver, Colorado, and throughout the West. Continental in 1992. One airline can make a difference.